Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Hex. Hello there, and welcome to Wine Wednesday with a twist. Wine Wednesday with a whist would have been better, I suppose. Um, Wine Wednesday, let's talk about Doom 3. Doom 3 is a game I've got a lot of love for, really. Um, specifically BFG edition. Now, if you look on Steam, there's regular edition of Doom 3, <coughs> which is the um, the original Doom 3. And then there's BFG edition, which is the touched up, remastered, re-released HD version. I don't know what you want to call it. So, um, first of all, let's look at Doom 3 running in wine. Uh, so, this is uh, the same wine container, bottle, that I used to do my massive video last week. Um, this, this this wine has got nothing major done. It's wine 2.0. It's installed. There's nothing crazy. It's currently set to Windows XP mode. Um, that's the only really, it's the only thing really that I can say that stands out to me. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at Doom 3, shall we? Now... It's worth saying that Doom 3 is kind of a long slog of a game, and there's a lot of talking before. That's not Doom 3. That's regular Doom 3, not Doom 3 BFG edition. Oh, my God, I've loaded the wrong. Well, it's as good as any. Let's carry on. Um, yeah, we have to We have to look at the uh, We have to look at the, the, the id software logo every time we load an id software game. So this is Doom 3. Okay. Regular Doom 3. Um, let's do the autosave. Uh, I'm not going to play too much of it because it's the crappy version. I loaded the wrong one. We'll just roll with it. It'll be fine. Uh, come on, damn it, god damn it loader. You can see that he doesn't do 1080, it's locked in 4x3, so the best way to gear it without fucking up your desktop resolution and making it all look weird is just to run it in a window, which seems to work fine. This sucker does some loading, doesn't it? Bloody hell, for a game this old, it's certainly, I wonder what year, what year was it even released, I don't remember, we'll have a look in a minute. Oh, uh, yay, so yeah, there's, okay, there we go, cool, this is a bit with the marine, you can see, Game looks alright. The Marine talks about stuff. There's some pipes there. Seems like a health and safety mess. We can get this, we can get this bit. Look. Okay, he opens. okay I want it. there you go. We'll grab our gear. And we can <laughs> we can let me go out here and then we can shoot some civilians. But uh, yeah, it's 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 fine. Uh, we've we've done that. So quick current game, yes. That was Doom 3 running in Y. What? Exit. Yes. Yes. Uh, now, BFG edition is the one we want to look at now, which is the one we actually want to look at the first time. So it's been a good comparison, I suppose. Uh, BFG edition. See, first thing you'll notice is it's a proper full screen. It's proper full 1080p running without any problems. Um, we get the more modern id software logo. We get to know about Bethesda, Zeni Max Media Inc., Big Video, and then some copyright information. Just show me this shit once. Now, what's interesting about Doom 3 is um, you go campaign. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. You, you can select a game. Quit. Um, change game. There you go. We can select Doom 1, Doom 2, or Doom 3. So if we're going to Doom 1, so this is part of BFD edition. Uh, just do them easiest just so we can... Yep, see? Like when I was a kid, I always thought this was water. It never occurred to me it was carpet. There you go. Yay. It's Doom. It's, it's, it's Doom, you know? It's it's hard to... It's hard to I mean, it's hard to get that sort of vanilla Doom. Um... If you want to play Doom, there are better ways than BFG Edition to play it. Doom GZ, uh, Brutal Doom. Um, I'm thinking there's a, someone must have done a Vulcan version of Doom by now, surely. Uh, but there are there are better ways of doing Doom. So quit. The only difference between this and Vanilla Doom is there's an option to change game. We change game, you get back into this. Um, so now let's look at Doom 3. We've all seen Doom 2. So we're going to go to the campaign now. And we're going to continue our game. Now, I warn you, this is the bit I was trying to say before I realised I loaded the wrong Doom. Is this campaign, I've killed everything. This save game's like midway. This game's part of the problem with Doom 3 always was the fact that there's too much wandering around and not enough killing monsters. It's basically generic corridor shooter. It's a good one. I mean, it got a lot of flack at the time. I think it's quite good. I think it's interesting. Um, it, but it is generic corridor shooter. Yay. I think... To be honest, was it one of the first, like, real corridor shooters? Like, was it, was it the first one to do this? Because Doom, I don't think of Doom 1 as a corridor shooter, really. It doesn't strike me as being a corridor shooter. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just missing, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Doom 2016 certainly isn't a corridor shooter. Um, there's stuff out there to break. Can we, can we, can we get out of there? There you go. We could jump through the window and see the big machine. That I assume is, I assume it's packaging eggs. I don't, I assume that's what's happening here. Okay, we can't go that way. Can we go this way? There's got to be something around here. There's just one thing. I just want to shoot one thing before we leave. 
No, there's no chance we don't get to shoot him. Maybe this guy. We'll shoot this guy. There you go. Boom. Okay, right, so you'll see. Doom 3 running in wine, no problem. But there is a better way to run it. So even though this is a wine Wednesday, there is a better way to run it. Uh, let's look at our game options. Uh, no, let's look at our system options. There we go, because it's, it's all very confusing. Uh, we're on 16 times anti alice in smart vertical syncs, 60 frames a second, and motion blur is disabled because it makes me feel weird and seasick. And that's what we was getting. So we'll exit the game now. And then we have to exit the game again. And then there is another better way to play it. The better way of playing it is in Lutris, because Lutris has the Doom 3 BFG edition. And uh, look at this, uses the open source engine RB Doom BFG. So if I type Doom in here, we should be out there. We go Doom BFG edition. Should load nicely without any problems. Now this is where I, wait, did it, did it not happen? Where is it? I clicked it. Oh man, best video ever. So Lutris Doom BFG edition. It was working minutes ago. Minutes ago I was playing this. Um, Lutris. No, okay, we'll just load Lutris directly and see if we can launch it out there. But it does work, trust me. I love it when it does things like this. I, I love, I love, oh, no, no, we've got, <laughs> it just takes way longer than you'd think to load. We've got three of them. That's great, that is. We'll force quit that one, and we'll force quit this one. Yay! And now we've, <laughs> now we've got do BFG. Oh, did we not force quit that one? There, 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 oh, man, now force quit all of them. Um, we'll also exit Steam so people know it's not the Steam version that's running. We'll exit Steam and we'll go Lutris. And this time we'll be more patient and we'll just wait. Yeah, we'll just we'll just wait. We won't we won't jump to I don't know why this fella's loaded. I must have clicked something. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is why Wednesdays are going as well as every other day on the channel, really, aren't they? <laughs> so this is now this is the version of this is the version running the open source implementation of the engine and we'll look at doom first because we did that last time uh, and then we got a new game it's quite loud it's fine we're fine exactly the same implementation nothing different it's using the built-in version that's built into doom bfg edition um and there's no surprises so and again we've got the change game option and we'll go into doom 3 and we'll also control the volume because it's really loud, my end. I'm finding myself shouting a little bit, which is crazy because there we go. There we go. That's a bit more control. But you'll see anti aliasing only goes up to eight times. Um, vertical sync enabled, anti aliasing eight times and 60 FPS. Uh, very weird. Motion blue disabled again for the same reason. And soft shadows on. Um, and then there's also the same 3D options. Not sure how well they'd work in Linux. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure how, how well 3D view works, but I have no way of testing. Did it ever take off properly? Okay. Uh, campaign. Uh, load campaign. No save falls fan because I haven't played it, so we'll just have to have a look. And enjoy the... Sh oh, there we go. Resurrection of Evil or Lost Mission. So we just want to play regular Doom 3. And we'll play and recruit because easy is always the way to play with Doom videos. It's, oh my entity. god, have we got to watch the videos? On oh my god. Um, let's turn the volume down at least though. Turn it down because it's too loud. Um, this is... Oh, this is a good opportunity to talk. Um, Doom 3 uh, was a great game in its own right. However, being called Doom and having all this stuff in between you and the violence really just destroyed the experience for a lot of people and you're about to see i mean if you haven't seen it already the opening portion of the game is just it just goes on forever i mean we're not going to even play all of it i mean we just have a quick look to see how the engine runs but uh yeah it just keeps going it just there we go okay all right returns again there we go so you can see the engine i can't say that it looks loads better than the version in wine um but it certainly is that is that shaking because of that plane thing I assume it's because of the plane thing. So look, yeah, it's because that was quite. I didn't notice that before. Look, so if I'm close to here, oh, that's interesting. It was like a shaky camera thing going on. That was pretty cool. Um, it looks clean. It looks. It does look like it's cleaner rendered than the wine version. Um, how true that is, I don't know. If it's just because it's new and shiny, and I've gone straight into it. But uh, yeah, it looks great. And ah, uh, oh, yes, stepping on a red square. Because the step on the red square is very important to video games. So it's, uh, it's don't let me kill anything. Make me step in the red square while you uh, 
don't even do plot. Like, don't, you just world building. I get the world building is important, but like, Doom 2016 was a masterclass in that, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, we have to stand here for no reason. Then we, then we see this freaky thing for no reason. I remember the first time I played Doom 3. Uh, this thing just like, as soon as it appeared on the screen, my frame rate dropped. And I, and I was like, but I've only got two times anti-aliasing on. <laughs> it, was, it was great. Um, this feels much better than the wine version anyway. Um, not loads better. Like the what I've played a lot of the wine version. It's fine. This version just feels, you know, it's that difference between, uh, with the exception of a very few games. There's that thing, isn't it? Where like a game that's running great in wine doesn't quite feel as snappy as a native game. There are a couple of exceptions to that, Doom 2016 being the major one, um, and a couple of 2D games, it just doesn't affect it at all, but you can't you can't really beat native, can you? It's always better. Um, yeah, and we have to... Did we come... Did we, there we go. Now we get some more plot stuff. That's your character. I think it's Carl Urban. I don't know. It's, can I, I can't even skip it. Oh, there you go. Escape a few times. But uh, you'll see, it's like... If you haven't played it, it's an experience. Once the game gets going, it's good. It's a fun game. It's an interesting game. You get to get to Mars. You get to get to Hell and stuff. It's it's cool. You know the game is cool. But uh, this did that work? Yeah, it worked. Um, there's uh there's so much of this bloody like bit at the beginning is a nightmare. And then when you actually get past the bit, let's go in the toilets. Cool space toilets. This is what a space toilet looks like. Yeah. Um, there's no toilet roll. Is there any toilet roll? Yeah, there's toilet roll. We're good. Urinals. How does that even work? How does it even work? Um, yeah, and then when you get past that bit, there's a bit early on in the game where you're just wandering around looking for stuff, like lost and confused. Uh, can we play Duck Hunt? This is the main reason. This is this is the main reason to play it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's an early bit where you just corridor, run around corridors, lost and confused. And then the game actually gets going after that, and that's when it gets kind of good. But that, that first, like, at least the first hour is just like a slog of nonsense. Oh, there's obviously a TV box here. This is the old school TV box. What's that about? Oh, go this way, I take it. And then we go here, and then this guy's going to just tell us to go down there. It's just really annoying, so we're going to stop there. That's been Doom 3, really, natively. And as you can see, a slight improvement over the wine version. And uh, I would say definitely easier to get running. If you want to play Doom 3 um, native, here's what you do. You install Lutris. Um, and then you you go you type in Doom 3 in Lutris and you click on the button that says install and Lutris does all the magic for you. If you find that it's not progressing after where it says get in files, you just have to like reopen Steam because sometimes it Steam like bombs out, which I found when installing it. But other than that, it works fine. Uh, Doom 3 is a great game. Uh, Looks like if you don't want to mess about with Lutris and you've got wine you've got a wine set up, there's no reason not to use the wine version. But I don't know. I felt like that native version. I don't know if it's 64 bit was just felt a little bit more snappy than the wine version um and looked a bit crisper probably because it's using more modern implementations and stuff to be honest uh, it's probably using much more modern technology than the original doom 3 engine and uh, if you are so inclined and you or you don't have bfg edition um there is even the actual downloads the linux game engine from id software um, with the steam data on top that's pretty cool isn't it the actual id software like executable for the original doom right here all these years later 20 what wait what uh 2015 was the last patch, apparently. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's right there. So Lutris, once again, being a win for us. I've been HexDSL. This has been a Wine Wednesday, but not really, because we talked about stuff that wasn't wine. But you get you get what I'm doing. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.